Welcome to this how-to video. In this video, you're going to learn how to use the Honda Trip Planner. You're going to learn how to export the files, copy them to USB, and then load them to your Goldwing. You'll also learn how to delete waypoints. Let's get started. Click on the URL. This screen will pop up. It indicates to not use the same login as you use for a Honda account, but to register for a Trip Planner account. Click on Continue to log in. Enter in a username and password. If this is the first time, click Register. If you're logging back in, click Sign In. This will bring you into your Trip Planner. I already have some rights created on the left. If I click on my trips, I can see all of the trips I already have plotted. To create a new trip, click Plan a Trip. Enter in your starting point. A suggestion is to move the starting point a little bit ahead of your route because if you start it right at your home or right at your hotel, sometimes it will start out and have you go in a U-turn to get back to the starting point. Then enter in your first point to start. We're going to put Mount Wilson. You'll notice here that it gives us a couple of options. Select the option to start. This will route you the fastest way between these two points. However, for your motorcycle trip, you're probably going to want to take back roads. In this case, we want to come on Highway 2. So move your hand up to the road you would like to take and right click and click Add Stop. We want this to be the first stop on our ride. Over to the left, all we need to do is to click the little up and down arrow and move that so that it is the second stop now on our route. And you'll notice here how it automatically adjusts the route accordingly. At this point, you can either type in the next stop or plot it on the map. I prefer plotting it on the map so I know it takes the exact route that I want. We want it to come up this road to Palmdale. So again, right click on the road and click Add Stop. You'll notice sometimes that it will drop the spot on a side road. And when you're on your bike, it's going to make you try to turn right here. To correct this problem, you need to drag it so it is exactly on the road. And again, you see how it just kind of popped it to a side road. So I usually move it up where there's really not any side roads and then drop it on the map. And you'll see here that the little dot is right on the road. For the final stop in Palmdale, I enter in the hotel address and it will route me directly to the hotel. This is helpful at the end of your ride to take you right to the hotel you're staying. Review your trip, then click save. Some rules with saving your trip. One, you need to make sure there are no spaces. You can save the trip with spaces, but it will not export and import properly. So I recommend saving it without any spaces. The second tip is to create a trip for each day and then name the trip for the day. For example, the first day on Tuesday to Palmdale. You can add any trip notes, then click Save Trip. I recommend waiting till the end to export the trips, then click Close. So coming back to my trips, I have created a route for each day and named that route accordingly. Day one, Tuesday, day two, Wednesday, day three, Thursday, and the end point for each day. This is easy when you have them in your bike that you can quickly see which day to pick. Once you have them all created for your trip, I recommend coming back in and reviewing each. It's much easier to edit these in Trip Planner rather than on your bike. Let's look at this loop. This is one of the more complicated routes I have for this trip. It is an out and back for the day. So it starts out at the hotel, comes up to the San Francisco area, does a little loop on a lookout point, comes across the bridge, comes up to one lookout point, then another, comes out to Muir Beach, and I actually have it coming into Muir Beach, You'll notice here that the waypoint is a little messed up, so I'm going to fix that and I'm going to move it out a bit. And you'll see here that that little blue dot shows that it is fixed. And I'll just follow the route and again making sure that 
it's where I need it to be. Again, I have it coming back on a back road, so I had to plot this separately. And I also wanted it to come back on Highway 1, so I put it in a point here on Highway 1. And then back to the hotel. This looks good, so I'm going to resave the trip. It's going to have the same name. I just click Save again, and then Close. And then click on My Trips. Once I have all of the trips created and saved, and I have them verified, now they're ready to export. Come into each trip and click Export to GPS. And you'll notice here that it downloads to your download folder on your computer. Click on the folder to open your Downloads folder. You will notice here that we have all of the GPX files in the downloaded folder. Next, insert your thumb drive. And you'll notice when you insert it that this USB drive pops up on your folders. Click on the USB thumb drive to open the thumb drive. You'll want to delete any files that you have on the thumb drive. You can do this by clicking on the file and hitting delete. Make sure you delete all the files that are on the thumb drive. Right now you see here that the thumb drive is empty. Then click on your downloads folder again. Locate the GPX files that you downloaded. Holding the shift key down on your keyboard Click on each of the GPX files that you want to copy to the thumb drive. Hover over the files, then drag them to the USB thumb drive. This will copy the downloaded files to your thumb drive. Then click on the thumb drive to verify that they are there. Once the files are on your thumb drive, then remove the thumb drive from your computer. On your bike, make sure it is updated with all the latest navigation software. On the early Goldwings, there was a problem with the navigation reading the maps, and that has been resolved with the latest versions of the navigation system. To know that you're on the latest version on the Goldwing, the speed limit sign will appear on the maps. If this doesn't happen, then check again to make sure you're on the latest version. This will make a big difference in navigating. Next, let's learn how to load these files onto your Goldwing and how to use them. Okay, so the next step is, is you take the USB and you plug it into your bike. Select Home to get to the main menu. Scroll to Navigation. Select Navigation. Hit Enter. Select Menu. Scroll to Routes. Select Routes. Scroll to Import Route. Select Import All. Scroll to your first route. We're going to select one Tuesday to Palmdale. Select. Select set destination. Select go. Next, let's review how to delete a waypoint while you're driving. This is one activity you can complete while driving the Goldwing. Don't delete a waypoint before you need it, but if it ends up being one of those waypoints that keeps putting you in a U-turn, you can quickly delete it while driving. You can't use the center toggle to navigate. You have to use the controls on the left, but you can do this while driving. To delete a waypoint, select Enter. Select Clear Waypoint. Select the waypoint you need to remove and select it. Select Yes to delete. It will recalculate your destination. To proceed, click Go. So in summary, you come into Trip Planner and you plan your trip. Once you have your routes planned, you export to GPS. Then copy and paste the files to your USB drive. Then take them and copy them to your bike. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this how-to video. If you do, click like and follow at the bottom of this video for more how-to videos. Enjoy the ride!